family, I'm keeping it real with you guys. I, I'm just hitting record. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. I don't have a real subject for today's video. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Bruh, I made a video over on IGTV. Go check it out. Follow me on everything CK2K if you haven't already. I, I genuinely do not know what the direction is for this team. Like, I was just looking at our roster. You know, I was excited about the Kenny Booten pickup. And it's just like, what are we actually doing? What is actually the direction of this team? The Memphis Grizzlies, they got John Morant, Brandon Clark, Jaron Jackson Jr., even Dylan Brooks, who's been a longtime project for that team that's been productive for them. Like, they know what they're gonna be. Even the Atlanta Hawks, who are worse than we are, they got a direction for their team. I wished I had a, a concrete subject for this video. This video is just me genuinely frustrated and genuinely wanting to, to, to make a change for my team. Like, it's all jokes, but I'm tired of the memes. I'm tired of having to just hear to us be the butt of every joke. And I, I don't know what we do next. Just, I, I guess, roll the intro? I don't know. What's going on, CK Crucial Boy, CK2K, and welcome back to another video. Yes, elephant in the room, I've been sick, no video, blah, 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 you guys don't care about that. But what I care about is if you guys make sure that you come through to this channel and you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and follow me on my socials. I'm CK2K everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm out there uploading IGTVs. No TikTok, you ain't gonna get me on TikTok. Yeah, man, you know the deal, go pick yourself the merch. Merch. Merch, hold on. Sheesh. You see the new design? Yes, sir. The Mitchell Robinson Future Design. I am so happy with how these came out. Yeah, I, none of y'all been picking these things up. Link is in the description below. There's a link on the channel. Go check out this merch. Like, I'm not playing with y'all, man. This merch is fire. Guys, the intro, I, that wasn't a joke. Like, I'm not here trying to clickbait you guys like honestly like if you want to click away from this video right now you're feel free i get it because i genuinely do not know what the direction of the new york knicks is you come to ck2k for optimism positive vibes talk you off a ledge man ck talk me off this ledge yo i need you guys to talk me off a ledge I i've looked at this roster and i genuinely don't know what direction we're going in like we can talk about it and we're all saying the same things you know trade deadline we need to do this we need to make this move make that move but we're getting reports that marcus morris isn't even going to be moved because they don't want to move marcus morris and honestly cool i guess that's fine but are we gonna move bobby portis are we gonna get rid of cancers on the team like Alonzo Trier and Dennis Smith Jr. Even Alonzo Trier, we're getting quotes and stuff coming out talking about he's a professional this and blah, 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 blah. These guys need to go. These are not the kind of guys we want to build around. The, the, and then the guys that we do have that we want to keep as a part of the nucleus, we don't take care of. The Frank Nilakinas, the Damian Dotsons. Like, those are the kind of guys that we should be putting our heart in into because they've been producing every year when they've been on this team now mind you yes frank nilkina might have been more of a project but he's produced at the two strong points that he has on the scouting report when you talk about frank nilkina his defense and he is a solid ball mover you cannot tell me otherwise he is probably our most productive point guard on team maybe not our best point guard i know a lot of you guys all of a sudden have turned on Alfred payton i'm not doing that yet we could easily say yo ck what we're doing is we're building around rj bear and mitchell robinson but are we though if we were building around mitchell robinson why would we be entertaining any kind of trade for andre drummond mind you in the past i'd be all for this trade that's not what we need to be doing we've all have collectively come together to understand where the Knicks are right now, where we should be right now, and that is amidst a rebuild and doing it the right way. But I'm here watching the Memphis Grizzlies, the New Orleans Pelicans, the Atlanta Hawks, hell, the Chicago Bulls, like all these other teams are doing it the right way. And we're over here just, we're just flubbing the whole thing. What? We're just elongating our rebuild for no reason. We're playing behind veterans that have no direction on where they're going to be. We're glorifying guys that are going to be 
seventh, eighth men on other teams. Bobby Portis is what I'm talking about. Hell, Julius Randle, I'm very happy to see what he's turning into. He's turned into the guy that we signed in the offseason. He is the definition of patience. And you know what? I would be fine with us keeping him the throughout the longevity of his contract. I'm fine with that. He's young in him in itself. I would be fine seeing Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, Mitchell Robinson, Kevin Knox, uh Frank Nilakina, Damian Dotson. Like I want to see these guys, Ignis Prasdakis, now finally Kenny Wooten. Like I want to see these guys within the system. I'm seeing the Miami Heat building within their own organization and not forcing anything upon any other player your was good uh editor ck here i'm listening to my rant and uh i mentioned a lot of names and to be honest reggie bullock is another guy i'm pretty cool with on his team um so i'd be cool with us going forward with him as one of our veteranish guys a part of the squad i just want to throw that in here because he's playing really well defensively his shot will come yeah just want to throw that in there Continue the rant, CK. It's just so frustrating seeing this roster, and it's just, I don't know what we're doing. And I, I mean, I do know. I know what we're doing, but I don't know what we're doing as far as trying to be better. When I say I do know what we're doing, I know what's going on. The Knicks are literally just a project for Scott Perry and Steve Mills to save their job. I've said what I said about Scott Perry. I'm not standing down on what I've said about Scott Perry, but at the same time, Unless Scott Perry is able to do what Scott Perry has been saying he wanted to do since he got the job, which is rebuilding the team and playing like a small market organization, which we have yet to see. I still believe that's a lot of Steve Mills more than Scott Perry. But at the same time, it's just like when we got pictures like this going viral. This is embarrassing. That is our organization. That is our front office. All of our guys are sitting next to each other. We deserve all of the memes and all of of the hate that we get we deserve it because look at these guys all of them you can't hide any of it the only person missing is mike miller at this point why are we still here just to suffer every night i can feel my I, it's the beginning of another decade it's 2020 this is officially my first video i am uploading within this new year and i don't know where we're supposed to go what is the plan you tell me in the comment section below what do you think the plan is but now I'm, ck is going to sit down and tell you what the plan should be let me hear what you guys got to say in the comment section below but this is what the plan should be okay we have been in the draft for the last three years where we've been in the top 10 right or four years five, who cares from chris stafford is down who cares it doesn't matter the point of the matter is of those draft pieces we have frank nilakina uh kevin knox Damian Dotson, uh, Mitchell Robinson, RJ Barrett, Ignis Brasdakis. These are all pieces that we drafted. These are guys that are our own, okay? Then we got some diamonds in the rough in guys like um, Alonzo Trier, um, the same Iggy B, who I guess we traded for, but you know what I mean? We didn't technically draft him ourselves. We traded for him, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know what it is. Point of the matter is... We are not that far off from these teams like the Memphis Grizzlies who were able to steal Brandon Clark late on in the first round or these teams like the Atlanta Hawks that are that are breeding this John Collins kid who was just known to be a high flyer and is now turning into an overall power forward that a stretch power forward that can do almost anything at this point. He's not there yet, but he's still young. You know what I'm saying? All these other teams are building from within and doing so. I mean, look at the same Miami Heat right now that got a, 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 a jolt in the right direction because of Jimmy Butler. You know what I'm saying? They ground bread. They turned Bam into who Bam is themselves throughout their own development same him um we can go to kendrick nunn uh the biggest one is duncan that boy duncan robinson is a shooter that is bred from that organization <clears throat> like the knicks can do that i don't believe our development team is as bad as we are making them out to be it's just we're they're not allowed to develop the team the knicks are not allowed to develop their own team and that is our problem that is why we sit here and we get bashed the way we do because we are our own worst enemies i said that like we are our own worst enemies and i don't want us to be our own worst enemies going into this decade it is an easy fix okay 
We sign the players we sign. Okay, you sit back and you deal with what you deal with. Even if we don't move a Marcus Morris, the only players that we should be retaining from any kind of free agency is Marcus Morris and Julius Randle. If we got to keep Alfred Payton, we keep Alfred Payton fine, but he needs to be coming off the bench. Alfred Payton's still my guy. I still believe Alfred Payton was a great signing. I know a lot of Knicks fans like to overblow how our point guards play because they're not young point guards that are offensive heavy. Moutier got killed last year. Moutier had hit the best year of his career. There's a reason why he's now on one of the hottest teams in the NBA right now, but nope, Knicks fans want to turn a blind eye because he didn't play defense on some possession. And Alfred Payton's going through the same thing. Alfred Payton's having a stretch of basketball where his assist to turnover ratio is out of this world, excuse me. At the same time, yeah, his one-on-one -on -one defense is not the greatest, but the dude is top tier point guard that can steal the ball. But we're here trashing on him because he's not having those situations throughout an entire game. We like to nitpick on our point guard and stuff like that, which is fine, I get it. I get it, it's an impatient organization, that's, imp we're, we're an impatient fan base. But at the same time, it's just like, man, we are getting our own way. It should be a simple situation like this. We trade the cancers, we trade the veterans that do not need to be on this team and we play from within. Right now, we're in the trajectory that we're in, we're going to do better than 17 get wins this season. I'm not scared about us having another tie for the worst, worst season in the history of the Knicks. But the thing is, when we're out there trying to be a team that we're not, aka a playoff team or aka a, 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 a contender, we do this to ourselves. We're not that team. And we're hurting ourselves trying to be that team when we should be embracing the rebuild. We're slowing down the process ourselves. I'm watching RJ Barrett play as if we were in that game the entire time against the Milwaukee Bucks. But RJ Barrett's the only person out there getting that opportunity to do something like that. Mitchell Robinson's playing Sprite Memphis, and maybe, yeah, maybe it's a fault of his own. Kevin Knox, the same thing. But in a night where Kevin Knox had one of his back uh, bounce back games against Miami, then Kevin Knox is playing very sporadic, weird minutes tonight, next night when he was doing good stuff. Drives on Middleton, keeps his dribble alive, kicks it out in the corner. Knox makes his move, feet inside, and the stuff. Mitchell Robinson. Uh it took us three years to finally figure out that Frank Nielakina is a solid point guard. Mind you, again, he probably got in his own way too. But at the same time, we're not giving these guys a chance to build and be the players they are right now. Maybe this frustration is stemming because I'm seeing the, the New Orleans Port Pelicans, you know, finally understand something that a big mouth like LeVar Ball has been saying since his son got drafted. You put the ball in my son's hands, aka Lonzo Ball, and you let him play. And the Pelicans... They tried to mess up that set situation over there. They got bad production. All of a sudden, Drew Holiday and Lonzo Ball can't play well together. Now, Lonzo Ball is playing at a high efficiency rate right now, and the Pelicans are winning games because of that. Yes, Lonzo Ball is not having the 20-point games that everyone's expecting. I mean, mind you, he did have a stretch of that, but Lonzo Ball is playing at his pace, and he's playing just as well as Brandon Ingram is, just not from the scoring level. He, he's a damn near triple-double every night at this point now. The point of the matter is, these other teams are letting their guys develop, and they're doing it the right way, and I'm just, we're here watching our Knicks, and you know what, I'm being as, I'm gonna continue to be as positive as I can be, and we're here trying to root for our guys, but it's like, we all know what we really wanna see, and we, we really wanna see us actually embrace the rebuild and do this the right way. So, in 2024 and 2025, we're not still in the same position. Maybe in 2024, 2025, RJ Barrett's going off of his second or third all-star season. And we're maybe a playoff team, maybe not contending, but at least a playoff team that's within the top six in the playoff in the Eastern Conference. Your boy CK has not done one of these CK rants in a long time. I have not had a CK rant in a minute, but God, man, like I said, looking at this roster, it's just frustrating because we're doing it to ourselves. Anyways, I'm done talking y'all ear off. If you guys made it this far, y'all the real ones, man. This is why this movement is what it is. The CK crew over here, this is it's because of y'all. People like you guys are at this point in the video hearing me and understanding what I'm trying to say. And even if you're disagreeing, you're still hearing what I got to say and you're giving your two cents in the comment section below. And that's why I love making these videos. That's why I love talking to y'all on Discord, Twitter, Instagram, all those kind of things. This... I, I all this I do because of you guys and I hope that this is something that maybe I can turn into a job at some point and I appreciate all your guys support I'm sorry to get all mushy it's just a new year and I'm just so it's just you know I know I'm not the only one I know I'm not the only one anyways I'm done talking what do you guys think what are we going to do are we ever going to do what we need to do 
let me know all you guys thoughts in the comments below i miss y'all man i really do i've been sick your boy is back to health you know like i said i'm out there doing what i gotta do on ig twitter it's gonna be a big year man we're going for 20k 2020 ck20 that's what's happening this year the movement's real man ck2k all right we out here we could be the worst team in the league. The Knicks got the best social media squad in the game. From Knicks Fan TV, from Terry and Trey, from my boy Jay Ellis and the crew over at Nick of Time, from my boy Sim over at Nothing But Knicks, and everybody. I'm probably leaving people out, but the, the point of the matter is we got a great crew of people. And that's because we all got passion for this basketball team like a bunch of idiots. But the thing is, we got love and we got thoughts. And the thing is, you guys make us go around. I appreciate you guys. I'm done with the sappiness. I had to get this rant out of the way. Get it out of the way in the new year, beginning of the year. We back on track. Tonight, we play, who we play? We play the Phoenix Suns tonight. Maybe we could turn things around, get this dub tonight. But you guys know the deal. It's me, your boy, CK. I'm catch you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Let's get it. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Much love, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace. I'll see you guys. Had to get it out. Come on, Knicks. Feeling like I won the lotto. Always taking trips with a new chick. Asking where the time goes. Oh. And I wonder if this is all I'll know.